As you can see, Jeff, I have more wood than usual this evening. <laughs> yes, it's quite a large piece of wood. Two, actually. <laughs> now, I thanks everybody. Thank you. Come on over, come on over, boy. Come on over. Hey, listen, I, uh, yeah. Come on. Come on up here. Look, do that thing that the stoners like. Do that thing. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. Come on back. Look, everybody, I, I want to apologize to you. I feel recently I've been down in the dumps a little bit. Yeah, all right. I have a little bit. I feel I've been a little cynical on the show. I haven't done anything with puppets or sketches or cats or anything. I've just been, you know, doing the show, but I've changed my mind. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm going to be perky. <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of sass in my pants. I'm going to have, like, imagine if you put really uh, powerful um, cocaine in your pants. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to be like from now on. That's, that's you with cocaine in your pants. Actually, no. No, no. If you want to see an accurate picture of me with cocaine in my pants, here it is. I'm not here. Right. You see, because I would, I would be elsewhere. You'd probably, be elsewhere. Uh, probably rehab, actually, by rehab, now. Yeah. Or much like yourself. Don't do me. Oh, it went dark. It went dark. Yeah, it did. It did. The audience yeah. like, oh, they went, oh. Greg, we thought you were going to be perky. We thought everything had changed, and now you were going to be perky. Well, I was lying. <laughs> I'm not going to be perky. I'm going to be even darker and more evil with a pointy, scratchy finger. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, you like that, dude. <laughs> anyway, just a guy, his gay robot, and his not a real horse, standing in front of a camera. A camera that sends a signal to you in your shelter or housing accommodation. <laughs> or correctional facility. Just saying to you out there, gosh darn it, thanks for being here, everybody, because I can't do it, man. I no, can't. Man. No. I tried. Horrible. I tried. Man. I tried. That was painful, man. Oh, yeah? I've got a feeling you're going to mess things up later on in the monologue, though. Sponsored by Progressive, making it easy to bundle your home and car insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Thank you for abruptly stopping Whoa. your cheering. Man. Hey, so I'm looking at the monitor right there before I come out. A yeah. monitor is like a TV, except it's all, it can also be a lizard. Yeah, that's true. A monitor a lizard? A monitor. That's a lizard, yeah. <laughs> I got distracted. Anyway, I'm looking at the monitor at the start of the show, and I can see the guy from, like, like one of the pages or something, he's going, get up, get up, everybody, get up! <laughs> I thought you gave me a standing ovation because you liked me, but you're just... <laughs> You're just whores like me! Get up, get up, get up, get up. I had no idea.
idea. So you're telling me every time somebody gets a standard ovation in show business, it's just some guy saying, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> oh, for free candy? <laughs> Jeez, you're not even expensive, whores. <laughs> I only get up for British candy. <laughs> That's why I enjoy Downton Abbey. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, man. Hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It, is. it is a great day. It is a great day for the state of California. Today, California announced they will be the first state in the union with a $10 an hour minimum wage. So I'm sorry, Secretariat, you're gone. <laughs> well, uh, no, all right, all right, calm down, calm down. Half of you is gone. <laughs> You'll have to fight it out amongst yourself. <laughs> you're gonna win? What about your ass? <laughs> That's showbiz. It's not a great day for Bill Nye, the science guy. You know Bill Nye, the science guy? Yeah, sure. Bill Nye, the science yeah, guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, let's sing it with me. Yeah, sure. Bill, Bill Nye, Nye, the science guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. He hurt his knee on Dancing with the Stars. He's got a torn ligament. Now, if you're going to be on that show, your body needs to be able to withstand a serious pounding. That's why my money is on Snooky. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I know. That was a joke. An actual joke. An actual joke. <laughs> Pretty good joke, too. Pretty good, yeah. Anyway, today the U.S. Postal Service announced their plans to increase the cost of stamps. Now, for you kids uh, too young to remember, a stamp is a cheap little thing that you lick and then you put on your package. <laughs> You could probably do your own Kardashian joke right about now. <laughs> Kardashian, yeah, I said Kardashian. I'm still excited about the Snooky joke. Yeah, yeah. Right now, uh, a postage stamp costs about 46 cents, but they're proposing to raise it to 49 cents. Wow, that was Whoa. like Lord of the Rings there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, man. They're going to turn it to 49 cents. You shall not pass! You sh That's good! Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, it's only an increase of three cents. It doesn't sound like much, but when you multiply it by all the people who send letters, it could bring the post office upwards of $30. <laughs> Here's what I say, post office. Don't charge 49 cents for a stamp. Go ahead, round it up to 50. Just do it. You know, I don't like odd numbers. That's why I've never been interested in threesomes. I always say... Go ahead and round it up to four. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have said threesome. I should say menage à toi. Because uh, if you say something in French, it's classy. That's true. If Honey Boo Boo spoke French, people would think she was sophisticated. Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo. Would you like some Mountain Dew and a Red Bull? That's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Honey Boo Boo in different languages. Yeah. Dude, we're yeah, on to yeah. something. Yeah, All right, you it. first. Okay, uh, let's see. Should I do Spanish? Spanish Honey Boo Boo. All right. <laughs> All right, all right. Indian Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, German Honey Boo Boo. German Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo -boo. Uh, this, uh, ding -ding 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 -ding. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I got a little... That, that yeah, sounded no. like Japanese yeah, honey there. boo boo. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was Japanese honey boo boo. It was a mix, yeah. No, man, this is German honey boo boo. I think this is the honey boo boo. Hello, mine honey boo boo. Oh, oh sugar bear, you are giving me pleasure. I will not touch this. <laughs> Uh, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah, the post office. Uh, wait a minute, Dracula Honey Boo Boo. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> I think I found your weak spot, yeah, yeah. finally. Dracula Honey Boo Boo. Dracula Honey yeah, Boo Boo yeah. with German Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. all right. Um, 
Oh yeah, the post office. Now the post office, uh, they need cash because people are not sending letters anymore. I'm old fashioned, I send one letter a week. It's how I stay connected to my fan. <laughs> Well done, my bitches! <laughs> I'm frisky tonight, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, you are, yeah. I am a little frisky tonight. I don't know why, I'm kind of excited. What are you excited about? Oh, I don't know. I think the idea of Indian honey boo-boo got me going a little bit. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the post office. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Stamps, stamps. People that collect stamps are called philatelists, which sounds dirty. <laughs> I'm a philatelist. <laughs> I could philatel you right now <laughs> if you give me some British candy. <laughs> I've got a big stamp collection. You got a picture of me with my stamp collection there? I like that. <laughs> I, that's, that's me with my stamp collection and a pink hat. Yeah. I, I forgot I had a pink hat. Where did I get the pink hat? <laughs> a what? Halloween. Halloween? Yeah, he's joining in now. You see that? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. Some, some improv yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're a racist, pal. <laughs> he hates when I call him a racist. Race. He's, like, don't, he's like, don't call me that. People will think I'm an actual racist. <laughs> Which, of course... <laughs> racist. Yeah, racist. Well, you're a racist, man. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, it is fun, isn't yeah. it? Ah. Yeah. Uh, good times. Feeling good, man. Feeling yeah. good. Feeling breezy. Breezy. Feeling like I'm walking down the street with no pants on. Yeah. <laughs> that one, one testicle blowing in the wind. The answer, my friend, <laughs> is blowing in the wind. <laughs> I better not sing it, because I don't know if it's in the public domain. Sorry for doing this. Uh, you just you said that thing about my testicle and you started it off. Yeah, no, I like that. Uh, we got to go to commercial break. It's commercial break time. Yeah, you want me to? Yeah, do yeah, something? do your thing. All right. If you're watching this show, you're rock. You're rock. What? No, come on. I come said, on. No. What the hell? Wait a minute. No. What the hell? No, no. No, I was trying to. I what just, the hell? I was gonna, no, I told you the whole thing. I was going to do this. You know, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me tell you if you know anything about me, you know I am very professional. <laughs> Let's try it again. You are a racist. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Tonight we've got Sassner pants peeing in our drawers. So we've got, we're crazy. Yeah, ants in our shorts. Ants in our shorts. And we have uh, the falafel in our uh, shoes. F a falafel, falafel in Falafel in my shoes. Yeah, thanks for sucking the life out of the room, Jeff. Think you're doing just fine on your own. Ah, oh, sh... Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, do you ever watch the, uh, the show New Girl? Yeah, all the time. I love that. Do you love that show love that with show. The, the kids being new? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know Zoe Deschanel is on that show, right? She's hot. She's here. Yeah, she's hot. And she's, yeah. Well, you know, she's a lovely girl and everything. And she, she always teases me because I supposedly don't like cats, which, of course, I love cats. <laughs> so on their show, they get a new cat. And look at this. Look at this. Good, Good way to go. Th don't hurt uh -huh. that cat. Hey, Ferguson! Ferguson. Don't do this. Ferguson! Hey, Ferguson, wait a second. Ferguson, Winston. Winston, stop, wait, stop. Don't do that stop. scary walk. Wait, 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 wait. They called the cat Ferguson. <laughs> I'm hereby issuing a citizen's cease and desist order. Wow. Is that possible? Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, right, I am serving you, um, unless that illegally compromises me in any way. <laughs> I'm serving you. I want you to call the cat, um... Tyler. Tyler? Yeah. No, no, I was thinking more Kimmel. 
What the, what the hell, where, man? Where, what did you owe me for? Didn't you, didn't you get enough candy? <laughs> is that what it is? Didn't you get enough candy? What? what the hell, man? The hell, man? Who do you think you are? You're coming here like a cheap dockside whore. <laughs> I'm doing some acting. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Oh, Powerful. Thanks. You come out here like a cheap dog side whore. <laughs> come on, do some acting. What's wrong with you people with, your, with your clappy ways? You You're just want candy, that's all you want. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, man? Stand here taking crap from you. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> hey, is there problems at home or something? No, man? plug What's the guy on? in. Plug it out. Tell me a joke. Ah, I've had enough. <laughs> Are you doing you or me now? I'm fine, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tree mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once danced under the name Bulk Mail. <laughs> is that what you were going to say before you screwed it up, before the commercial break? <laughs> oh, did I screw it up? Well, you, you tried to mess with me? You screwed it up. Or was it on purpose? <laughs> well, you, Wow, that, it seems to me like most of the people have regular laughs in the audience, and one person sounds like they laugh like a sort of kookaburra. Yeah, like like a like a pheasant. Yeah, yeah, some kind of. <laughs> you hear it? There it is. I, I can it. hear it. I can hear it. Oh, that must have been something edited there. It was so dirty, it would blow your mind. <laughs> Blow your mind. I had to make sure you heard mind properly then or they would cut that out as well. Because I said, blow your mind. <laughs> Jeff, we got 50 seconds left okay. for the right, you ready? This is awesome. All right, this is from David in Montgomery, Alabama, who says, Dear Craig and Jeff, how do you decide which email to or tweet to read first? The uh, one on top of the pile. What's wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> This is from Gavin in Glasgow, in Scotland, who says, Craig, why don't you film some shows in Glasgow? Did five last year, you haggis. Idiot. Uh, um. uh, dear Craig and Jeff, uh, this is from Joseph in Arlington, Texas. Dear Craig and Jeff, I started watching Breaking Bad this season. Do you agree it's uh, really as good as people say? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very good show. Oh, it's one of the best shows I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. It's a great show. Yeah. Hands down, there's no no two ways about it. No, it's <laughs> impeccable. Uh, <clears throat> Good show. Good. <clears throat> strong, strong performance. Very strong performances. Yeah. Some of the greatest performances in recent memory on yeah. television, yeah. I'd say. <laughs> Yeah, really a uh, solid character arc. Oh, yeah, I tell you, the writing is spectacular. Unbelievable. Just great. Unsurpassed. <laughs> well, we'll be right back after these <laughs> tonight is a sensational actress. You'll see her in uh, the shows Paloma and Blue uh, at watchwigs.com. What? <laughs> really? Great. Uh, take a look at this. Sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful Julia Stiles, everybody. Julia Stiles. Julia. Hello, 
correct. You look absolutely beautiful, if I may say to you. That's so lovely of you to say it. Well, say and it I'm saying it again. for no money whatsoever. That'll be twelve hundred dollars. Well, wait, now you, you, that makes sense. No, uh, well, it's an. You I have to pay me to. Give I have me to a pay. Compliment. I have to pay you. To, no, you don't. Yeah, I'll take no, it no. You, maybe that's my thing. That's my weird thing. I have to compliment women. Could be a fetish. <laughs> I don't think it's one that you'd have to pay a lot for, though. No. Yeah. It's, uh, should you play a, a, a prostitute, then, in this? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could call uh, escort. Escort, call right. Call girl, prostitute, hooker, whatever you want to call it. She gets paid to have sex with people. <laughs> I literally I'm was, like, almost plugging. almost certain that's a prostitute. I, it is. I uh, was plugging my ears backstage. I can't. I get so nervous seeing some scenes from that show. Well, do, does it get racy? Yeah, and it's just embarrassing. Like, I'm, I don't know. You, try being me watching this show. <laughs> I never do, of course, because we're you live, and totally, how could I post? You totally sit at home. You go, you go home at the end of the workday and sit and watch yourself. Oh, and really? Like, Damn, I'm good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it's like you know me. Uh, no, I don't. Do you watch yourself when you no. give her? No, man, no. I don't want to see it. Yeah, it's like listening to your voice on an answering machine. Message. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, no, or catch and sight yourself when you walk by the store, for the TV store, and there's, the, you know. <laughs> but it would be, I mean, that's a good thing. It would be a little bit weird if we were like, I love watching myself. That would be weird. Yeah, I think I am quite weird then. <laughs> okay. No, no, it would be weird. You don't want to do that. So, listen, tell me what the, the show's on watchwigs.com. Watchwigs.com. So, it's a channel that was created um, for YouTube, I guess. Uh, right. And, it, and now they air some of the some of the show Blue that you just saw is aired on Hulu as well. All right. So Hulu, I've heard of. Watchwigs, I'm not familiar with. Well, go check it out. I will. And, and <laughs> do you have to have a wig? <laughs> Did it start with wigs? Was it a wig channel? Uh, no, no, no. It's every every show on the channel is like uh, the title of, is a woman's name, and it centers around a female character. And the w I guess wigs is sort of like where it gets interesting, where it gets sexy, where uh, it gets sinister, where it gets. <coughs> no, it's nothing to do with you know where it gets on your head. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> And then... <laughs> so how many did you make then? Uh, we've made a lot of blue. We're filming right now our, the third season, although the episodes are shorter than regular television. Right, um, okay. So we're now into like, I think it might be something like 60-something episodes. Holy right? crackers. And then Paloma's the show that I write and direct. I'm not in that. Oh. Um, Grace Cover is the What's Paloma about. about then? It's about relationships. <coughs> Uh-oh. No, it's yeah. about... Um, <laughs> it's about love and, and uh, monogamy and... and Possession, too. Possession? Like, like yeah. demonic possession? Like, <laughs> oh, ah, like that? <laughs> Throw a little of that in. People enjoy that. Okay. Did you sure. ever, have you ever been in a scary horror movie? Not like The Exorcist where somebody's... Yeah, possessed. I think it's time for you to do a possession movie. Um, interesting. Can you do that again? I'm... <laughs> Should I try? Yes, of course. How much will you pay me? <laughs> 600 pieces of candy an hour. Um, no, you don't have to. I don't want to force uh, you into, you know, being possessed. Maybe if you just say please. Ooh, sure. Tell uh, me I'm beautiful again and I'll do it. You are beautiful. It's absolutely no problem. <laughs> oh, what? You see what we do? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Are you in therapy? Uh, do you get therapy? <laughs> I, I am, indeed. Is it hypnotherapy you got? No, no, that's scary. That's like where you go under? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Why would you do that? You could find out if you're possessed. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm not possessed, and no, I'm not in hypnotherapy. How would you know you're not possessed if you haven't had it checked out by a qualified <laughs> hypnotherapist? But they could easily just tell you afterwards, oh yeah, you're possessed by the devil, and you would have no clue because you're unconscious. And they could film it? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, that'd be weird, yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna therapy? have it done, I'm having it done. Are you in therapy? Yeah, oh, all the time, yeah. 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 I definitely need it. No, do you get therapy? I mean, really, is it Jungian, Freudian, what is it? I, uh, I don't know what you call it. No, it's just you go and talk to somebody. Um, yeah. I think yep. it's very healthy. I think as, a, as an artist, it's good to explore Absolutely. You know, yourself. Let's, let's do something now, I'll be your therapist. In front of an audience of people, great. Yeah. <laughs> they're not people, they're cheap dogs I know. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. So, you're not possessed. You're quite sure of that. Positive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you look skeptical. Well, it's only that when someone is very positive about how they are, I ask the question, then, why did you come to therapy? 
<laughs> because you told me to. <laughs> um, I'm self-possessed Self-possessed, ah, I see. I then why would you be in therapy? What are you hoping to achieve from this visit to therapy? I've been having a recurring nightmare. Ah, what is it? That my teeth are falling out. Mm -hmm, and classic. I've... Really? Mm -hmm. Everyone has that. <laughs> well, then maybe I don't need to be in therapy because it's Well, let normal. me be the judge of that. Keep going. Okay. Um, but how much is this costing me? By 600 an hour. You know what you don't do that I really appreciate? You don't do the, like, looking at the clock and uh, we're going to have to wrap this up kind of thing. No, uh, he hates that I don't I do that, pain. but I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, let's so, see. So, the teeth falling out. I've heard it's anxiety. It's a loss of control. However, I did just have to have root canal, so I feel like maybe now, it, Freud can suck it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I think my diagnosis is this. You're possessed. <laughs> okay. You're possessed by an evil dentist. Oh. That would be $600. Just bill my insurance. All right. Uh, we'll be right back with Julius Dow. We'll right Welcome back, everybody. I'm here um, with the demon that is possessing this beautiful actress. <laughs> yeah, you're all right. We're out of time, actually. Do you know that? Oh. Not you and I. We can continue Therapies. our relationship. Ther but. Therapies uh, therapies. Uh, <laughs> The show, you know, the show is out, out of time. Oh. The well, we, we, we were cancelled during the commercial break. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, well, I'm sorry. these things happen. We had a good run. <laughs> so no more therapy? No, we can have more therapy if you want. Can I come back tomorrow and do more therapy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you, though. Why would you come back tomorrow when we haven't completed today? I just thought you said that the show was over. I'm so confused. Well, Are you... why would you believe me, though? <laughs> I mean, uh, clearly I work in show business, therefore I cannot be trusted. And you're smoking, you're not smoking, you're just holding a pipe up to your mouth, too. That's, you're not Does that disturb you? <laughs> it's, it's Would you like creepy. me to seduce you? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's a little bit creepy. Is it really? Do you want a pipe, then, to match my creepiness? Oh, my God, that was a quote from Batman. What? Would you like me to seduce you? Is no, it was from oh, The Graduate. The Graduate. Wait, what am I talking yeah. about? No, I feel, oh, I don't know why, I just had the image of Prince, like, when Pr Prince did that bat dance song. Oh, yeah. See, I also... He, might have, said, he might have said that, too, in that movie. But it's originally said in, in The Graduate. Yes, that's... I'm Mrs. Good. Robinson, you're Benjamin. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll All take right. that. See, Would I you I like me to suggest you? I, there's something about this couch that is kind of like therapy, where you feel the need to just say stuff that you don't really mean. Like, that was a quote from Batman. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't. My mind made a lot of leaps. Well, that's all right. That's why we're in therapy. <laughs> Calm those leaps down and make your mind meander a little more so you can relax. Do you sleep well? I do. I love sleeping. Really? How much sleep do you get in a night? Um, I said sleep like uh, sleep. Sean Connery. <laughs> sleep. I'll continue How the rest of the therapy as Sean Connery. That's excellent. <laughs> can, I, can I have a pipe? Can I? Yes, yes. What would you like? Uh, crack or tobacco? <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the brown one. Though. You like this one? Or yeah, it hasn't been touched pipe. at all. It's got a fresh. Uh, you just nib. touched it. <laughs> you just got your fingers all over it. Oh, now it's got backwash on it. Oh, it's fine. I don't want a yeah. backwash pipe. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't have backwash. Come on, it's just like we made out without all the trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna. All right, wash it. You're in cut there. Oh God, women. <laughs> yeah, that that went a place, didn't it? That water you splashed yourself right there. <laughs> Yeah. Things got a little wet t-shirt there for a minute. <laughs> Sorry, I went too far. You're right. Let's click pipes. Cheers. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Yes, is a very talented actress, as well as uh, being beautiful and um, yeah. smells great. <laughs> That's what women love when you say that about them. Oh yeah, you smell great. You smell great. 
<laughs> anyway, she stars in uh, Full Circle, which was premiering on DirecTV in October the 9th. Uh, take a look at this. Holy crackers. <laughs> Kiki Palmer, everybody, Kiki Palmer. Wow, you look great. Thank you so much. And you smell great. Oh, thank you, thank you. I did all of this just for you. I hope that you know. Oh, well, thank you. You don't need to dress up to be here, though. You look... I mean, you've been coming here since you were a little girl. I know. It's pretty crazy. It's you, I mean, you were really young when you first came on the show. What were you, like, eight or something? Not that young. All right. I was uh, more like 10, 11. 10, yeah. It was, uh, it was the bee movie. Yes, where, Akilah the Bee. Yeah, and it, there wasn't a real bee in it, which I think oh. was the problem. Right. <laughs> people for a loop there you know yeah I, I wanted it to be a movie about a girl who had a best friend who was a bee wow oh look we've got a picture of when you were here look this is when you were here when you oh were a little baby goodness. girl yeah oh. I know oh it's right oh my gosh look at little Kiki I know <laughs> I gotta be honest with you you, you look similar <laughs> you look great I don't look older at all yeah, well, you look more sophisticated, okay. but you don't look older. Oh, okay. I've I been around sense. women before. So you, you're giving therapy sessions? Oh, sure, yeah. You want some? Uh, what do you want, tobacco or crack? <laughs> you know, I've been meaning to express things to someone for a very long time. I've been having some issues, you know, as really? a child actor. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I can help you. Hold on. Would you like it in Austrian accent or just regular? Just regular. Okay. Are you sure? Because I can do it like this. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel comfortable, whatever will help me get the best thing, you know. Well, uh, whatever makes you feel comfortable. So you're trying to express something to someone? Is this a, a gentleman friend? Well, more so, uh, you know, my family. You know, whenever I would wake up in the morning, I always felt empty. Empty? Well, you should have a nice, nutritious breakfast. <laughs> so that'll be $600. <laughs> Do you feel empty inside? I felt empty inside. Yeah. But well, you might be right. It might have just been that I needed. You might have been hungry, yeah. Might have been hungry. Uh, I mean, that's what it was. You know, get a little dramatic when you're an actor. It's everything. Do you find like yourself that. more dramatic than you were before you were acting, which was, let's be honest, in kindergarten and that's it? Oh, I've always been pretty dramatic. That is yeah. true. I guess I've always been pretty dramatic. But you're not, I mean, you're very friendly and, and personable and outgoing, but I only see you here, of course. I don't yeah. see you when you're grumpy. <laughs> I don't want to see you when you're grumpy. You're it's absolutely not a good time. right. It's not a good time. Really? I look much like I did on the clip you showed. That was kind of, you know, you were... You, I gave you yeah. the thing. And that's, uh, that's David Boren and us from the Bonio <laughs> Show. Yes, I know him from Angel. You remember. Oh, him. yes, of course. Yeah, I know him from the Bonio Show where they solve crimes with bones. Yes, that is pretty it's epic. A, that's a great show. You ever that, seen that, that show? That is a great show. I have seen it. And that. they use bones. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he means bones. Yeah, bones. <laughs> I said boom. Are you are you mocking my accent? I am mocking your accent. You are I reasonable. thought we were friends. You've been coming here since you're a little girl. So, uh, tell me, how are things going at college then? You done with college? I actually didn't go to college. Uh oh. <laughs> Neither did I. But you didn't? No. How did you have this wonderful job? <laughs> with this job? <laughs> This may surprise you. I don't think it will. There's no college requirement in show business. You just have to be Guess a bigger douche than anybody else. Push your way to the front. That part's Push not your true. way to the front. That's yep. what it is. Really? You don't think so? No, I'm nice. Yes, you are. That's true. You are very nice. But that'll get... That'll go. <laughs> Around what time, you think? First Oscar nomination is my guess. Some right about your first Oscar nomination, you will become an unmitigated... No, you won't. You'll be unmitigated. fine. Unmitigated. <laughs> unmitigated. Yeah, yeah. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Do you handle success well? I'd hope so. I think you do. I mean, you, you're used to it. Really? Yeah, you've been getting it since Akilah and the Bee. Come on. You must be used to it by now. It doesn't feel like that to me. It, it feels like... I don't know how to explain it, but... It never feels like, oh, you know, I'm so successful. It just feels like, oh, you know, I'm living my life, doing my thing. Yeah. <laughs> How come they laugh when you say, yeah? I give them candy. <laughs> I, this candy here, if you want some, there's a little uh, chocolate. Uh, chocolate quarter. made out of quarters, but yeah, not yeah. real They're quarters. actually illegal. 
What? Yeah, you can't, uh, you're not allowed to make chocolate out of quarters. What? Dial it down a little. Just try it again. <laughs> No, you're... No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So what's going on then? What are you doing when you're not acting then? Are you, uh, you volleyball? Do you do that? I don't play volleyball. Oh, well, you surprised me. But I do play NBA jams. Do you really? I do play NBA jams. Oh, I enjoy no, myself. Oh, no, oh. On the PlayStation, mm -hmm. I'm getting it in. I'm usually Kobe, maybe LeBron. Okay. Just saying. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't watch sports? I, of course I watch sports. I just don't watch the NBA. Oh, don't look at me okay. like I stole your handbag. <laughs> So what do you watch? I watch a little hockey. That's a sport. Okay, you watch hockey. You mm -hmm. like to see people get beat up. No, that's a different thing that I watch for that. <laughs> I watch. I do watch boxing. Do you watch? The, did you watch the Floyd? Yes, I, I did. What do you think? What do you think? Oh my God! I love Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I tell you though, when he, whenever he boxes someone, he like whenever he's in a fight like yeah. that, I always think that he makes the other guy look so bad. Yeah, I think it's embarrassing for me. I think we, you know, is that really a fight or did that really happen? The but that Canelo guy's a real guy. The Canelo guy, he's a really good guy. He's a, he's a great boxer. The thing was, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather's defense is so good. He's just so, he's like moving so quick. Yeah. It's like you could barely catch him. I think that's the main thing. Canelo just got dizzy for a second. It was just. Yeah, that's right. It was really the and it's thing. That, that low arm thing. That yeah. low arm thing. And he that just lean, starts playing lean. around. And he was making me, I get very high anxiety watching it. It's just, mm -hmm. I get nervous. My hands start shaking. My palms get sweaty. Whoa. But it was just, I, 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 the main thing I did enjoy, I did like that Floyd Mayweather at the end. He said, you know, Canelo's a great fighter. Yeah, he, he did. Great. He was very classy at the end. Yeah, I really was, was glad yeah. about that because mm -hmm. Canelo is a great fighter. And I think he just was not knowing what to expect. I mean, did you watch the fight before? Did you watch the, the, the Argentinian guy fighting? I watched the end, the little end part of it. Yeah, no, that was a good fight. Yeah. I don't like when the fights get too bloody. When it gets too bloody, I'm out of there. No, no, you're watching it for the... You, no, I don't watch yeah, it for I'm, blood. You watch uh, blood, you can watch uh, True Blood. You watch that? <laughs> True Blood went on the deep end a bit. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it was too bloody for me for a while. I was like, everywhere I turned, I saw a naked body. <laughs> I was like, I gotta, gotta step up out of this. Yeah, you're right. I don't like you watching that. You know that. I don't want you watching you that. You know that. You Don't you get to bed. I don't want you watching that. <laughs> We're out of time. Oh, I was yeah. going to ask you if you watched The Orange is the New Black. I did. I watched all of it. That yeah. show is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. And Taylor Schilling was here, like, uh, last night, the night before. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. She's quite tall. She is. Yeah, I was surprised. I would love to go on that show and harass her in an episode. You gonna give me, are you going to give me the money or what? I could be, you don't think I could be a jail person? <laughs> Take off the suit. No, I don't think you could. I think you're a good enough actress, but I think you and your life, you're a good enough actress to, p to play a jail person, but I would never believe you were a jail person if I just met you not acting. How's that? <laughs> also, you don't look older, you just look uh, more glamorous. <laughs> also, you smell great. <laughs> Kiki Palmer, everybody. Kiki Palmer. Would you like me to seduce you? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes, please. It's a little creepy, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> well, what did we learn on the show tonight, Jeff? Well, we learned that... Uh, you're a racist. I'm we a learned racist. that. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you are a racist. No, you're, you're the racist, man. I'm sorry for my behavior tonight. I was possessed by a dentist. <laughs> Good night, everybody.